Good morning, everyone. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Amarsan Kadi uh, scientist and Bayrax Sitare Peace Program Coordinator. I take this opportunity to welcome each one of you uh, to the validatory function of the PIS 12 workshop, a national level workshop to build the conceptual, technological, and operational capability of life science undergraduate students in analyzing, characterizing, and valorizing the grassroots innovations. Uh, this workshop aims to help students to acquire the skills that will help them to transfer people's knowledge into possible market-friendly product and process. This workshop also helps them to learn various aspects of phytochemical, microbial, veterinary, agriculture, and diagnostic tools and methods so as to blend these for solving real-life problems. Uh, the actively growing participation of uh, students from different states, colleges, and universities uh, every year affirms the relevance and meaningfulness of this workshop. This BIS workshop was a synergy of youth's creativity and talent question. It is first a puzzle, puzzle affair with a gamut of research topics rolled to infuse new knowledge, logical thinking, and creativity. All in all, it was a workshop gelled with cerebral, thrilling, and a creative palette. I hope you all enjoyed your 21 days online classes with top eminent scientists and professors from various top institutes of India like IITs, IASC Bangalore, Naipur Mohali, Naipur Hyderabad, Naipur Ahmedabad, National Plant Genome Research Center, Gujarat Biotechnological Research Center, Institute of Chemical Technology, Indian Veterinary Research Institute, uh, National Center for Cell Science, uh, Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics, Jamia Mila University, University of Hyderabad, National Center for Plant Biotechnology, National Innovation Foundation, Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, and industries like Bayerad and Chrome, Fipsol Life Technologies, Supercrop Safe, Witcare Innovations, and CSR Traditional Knowledge Library Unit, and National GLP Compliance Monitoring Authority, DST. Uh, with all these, I hope you have acquired a, a knowledge that can be uh, used for the validating the grassroots practices and solving the real life problems and addressing the common man's problem. Uh, this uh, short note, I would like to invite uh, Professor Anil Gupta. Professor. Good morning, friends. I'm happy that uh, after a few weeks of lectures and discussions, the BIS program is concluding with uh, satisfaction, at least to the extent that many of you have taken this opportunity very seriously. I went through the synopsis that we had submitted and realized that many of you have put in a lot of efforts to develop your ideas. Many of you also revised and updated your framework after the interim feedback, which is a good sign. How much effort you put in and how much effort you make is directly proportional to the aspiration you have. Higher the aspiration, greater is the effort that you will put in. And naturally, this effort you are putting in to bring the best out of you. That was our intention, to get some of the brightest uh, students from around the country and encourage them, expose them to the best of the minds in academia and also from in the entrepreneur. Our goal, our hope, is that many of you eventually will prove to be Yaki winners, big award winner, and many other honors will come your way. Please switch on your videos. It looks a little dull if I have to talk to the face names and not faces. So I would request everybody to switch on their videos. A uh, small courtesy to each other so that we can look at your faces and get some energy, which we need as much as you may need. 
So can you, Harsha, Archit, Sarita, can you switch on your video, please? I'll stop for a minute. Can you all switch on your video, please? Sorna, Kadambri, Setu Prabha, Anjali, Vasla, can you switch on your videos, please? Manjari, Abhinav, Ayushi. Sorna, Archit. Why should it take so long? If you're all around, then you should switch on. Archit. Okay, Anjali, I understand. What about others? Sorna. Manjari. Setu Prabha, Anjali has a problem with her camera. That's all right. Manjari and Ayushi. Setu Prabha. Sorna Prabha. Archit, are you there? Archit, are you there? Can you unmute yourself? Archit, can you unmute yourself? You are not there. Shall we remove you then? If you are not interested, why should we keep you? Maybe we remove you. Anybody else who is not interested, I mean, there is no compulsion to attend, you know? It's voluntary. So all the effort that uh, Honeybee Network and Sashri team have put in, in putting this whole program together is to help you grow in your life. That's the only intention we have. That's the only intention Barak has. So this partnership with Barak and Sati is intentionally aimed at bringing out the talent among the other graduates and make them curious and committed to pursue difficult questions, unmet needs of our society. Sona Prabha and Setu Prabha, are you there? And Sarita, can you unmute yourself and tell us if there's any problem? Son Prabha, Sarita, Setu Prabha. So why don't you switch on your video? Setu Prabha, is there a problem? Huh? Sarita? Sarita, are you there? It's the last interaction and I would wish that all the students would be actively participating and I'd like to hear from you your feedback also. So it's very important that we hear. All right, Setu Prabha, I understand you cannot switch on. How about Sean Prabha? Can you switch on your camera? Unmute yourself. Sean Prabha? Manjiri has joined. Setu. Sean Prabha, can you, are you hearing us? Sean Prabha? Yes. yes yeah so what's the problem sir i have some network issues so i try to connect my camera sir okay is it all right now otherwise you know whenever there's a problem just put a chat so at least we know that you're hearing us you know otherwise okay, it looks as if we are talking to a blank screen and that can cause confusion so, people who join in let him join again okay archit you can join again now archit ko join kar lo Ah, all right, if he has returned his Zoom phone for us. Not a problem, Archit. We can understand that there is a problem. Just that we need to know. We just request you to send a message, which you have done. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we'll continue. So I would like to mention that many of you took up problems based on the real unmet needs of the people, particularly people who come to primary health center or people who live in the villages, people who are in the slums, people who cannot afford costly solutions, whether for agriculture, livestock, fisheries, medical science, health. So I'm happy that many of you have realized that. We had also given some other assignments. Amar, have they submitted the assignments about learning from the elders and learning from society and also visiting the barrack site and identifying the opportunities we have given 10 days time for that so, because All they right. prepare in the synopsis, project okay. synopsis. All right. Well, we understand that, but please understand that we will be able to issue the certificates only when you fulfill all the requirements. And I hope and I wish that each one of you will fulfill the requirements so that we are happily able to recognize your effort and your talent. 
I can tell you that some of the best participants have shown so much talent that they have not only best set up their startup, but also got some other awards. So we expect something similar from you. And I would like to mention some of the key goals that we have in this program, which we try to fulfill. While giving you exposure, we invited experts from different disciplines, some of which may appear too advanced to many of you. CRISPR or some other technologies perhaps were too advanced for many of you. We understand that. But you are among those few in the country who have at least heard the details of each of the frontier technology techniques, uh, instruments, and so on. So therefore, you are better informed than most other students in the country, most other UG students in the country. And I'm very happy. Amar, did we have that lecture, uh, which I had mentioned one of the students, I forgot her name. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, two, Anjali and Kadambur. Right, right. very good, very good. I'm so happy that docking studies that Anjali had presented how, without doing in vitro trials, can we surmise, can we speculate, can we identify the potential targets that the compounds in a particular plant may affect one way or the other. And thereby, it helps us to design the assays and also the processes by which we do the in vitro and in vivo studies. So I'm happy that some of you are certainly ahead of others, but similarly, our friend from Ames, what was his name, Abhinav, might have done much more study in medical devices than many others. So my suggestion is keep learning from each other. The program doesn't, learning doesn't end today. Program ends, but learning doesn't end. So if you wish in your group to organize some seminars by each other, we'll be happy to facilitate. Amar, let us mention this in our note uh, to everybody wishing them good luck that they can continue to use the group as a learning opportunity. Sure. We can continue to organize seminars by each one of you or different members. Some of the alumni can also be invited to present seminars. Some of them have done wonderful work. They can share with you. So it is up to you to demand from us inputs for different kind. Whether you want to meet some startup, tell us and we'll organize that interaction. You want to meet some other students who have done a great job in home experiments? Tell us, and we'll be happy to connect you to them. If supposing you want to look at how some other people finish their project, those who were given one lakh grant, let us know, and we will do that. You know that 10 of you are eligible for one lakh grant to pursue your research even further. But that depends upon how much sincerity you show in fulfilling all the requirements of the course. The fact is that when we organized this program and we have organized 11 of them, is that right? Yes, Professor. Uh, we have had very large response. And in future, the thinking is going on in Bayrak and Shasti that we might have thousand students applying or appearing for the initial program from whom by filtering different processes, 10 will be considered Bharat Ke Sitare. So this program is being is likely to be scaled up. We are likely to bring more students from around the country and build their exposure, build their capacity through exposure to the best minds of our country. Some of the scholars you met or you have heard during the program have also distinguished themselves through their students getting Gyaki Award. Now, Gyaki Award is Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Award. And I want to mention it clearly to you. There are two parts of this award. One is life sciences. That is called Bayrak Sitare Gyaki Award. Sitare Gyaki Award, which, for which you have to apply, life sciences students have to apply on the portal of Bayrak for all life sciences, agriculture, veterinary, medical, any. Mainly this award is for postgraduate, but we can try to make exceptions. So I would encourage you to consider that. The second is Swasti Gyati Award, Society for Research and Initiative for Sustainable Technologies and Institutions. That is the full form of Swasti. 
which is an integral part of Honeybee Network. So Swasti Gyati Award, Gandhi and Young Technological Innovation Award are for non-life science institutes. And for that, you can submit, or anybody can submit their application at Srashti Portal. The award money, the award under Sitare Bis includes 15 lakh rupees for 15 students for two years. Under Srashti Gyati, we don't have financial award as yet, but same function, same citation is done. So this year we had Principal Scientific Advisor to Government of India, Dr. Ajay Sood as the chief guest, and Secretary DBT was present, the team from Barak was present. I also had the opportunity to join the function and others were there to essentially organize this celebration of the young talent. So I would encourage you to think about that. And the, the next grant of BIG is already announced. And this big grant is of 50 lakh rupees. And anybody can apply. Uh, Amar will send you in the group the big announcement. Amar, you please send it, okay. share the announcement. So if anyone of you has aspiration to submit a larger project, because you think you have done enough work to warrant that, why don't you apply? The worst is you may not get it. The worst is you might, in which case it will be wonderful. My colleagues might have told you that in the past, we have had undergraduate students like Narayan Lal Gurjar and two others who not only got award in India, but also got recognition elsewhere. He was, he succeeded out of a competition involving 39 countries, scholars or students of 39 countries. And he was selected for an acceleration program in Japan. And his company is doing quite well. He's also <coughs> marketing. <clears throat> his gel in Japan as well. So some of the undergraduate students have done great job. And you will be surprised that when he was staying in the hostel, he had no land to do experiments. So he did the experiments in this space between the dormitories. You know that way. He was naked in his state. So there is no constraint that should come in the way of your pursuing your dreams, your ideas. As I told you, many of you in the past and maybe in this batch too have done experiments at your home. And that's great. After all, we all know that we set yogurt or we ferment uh, flour and then make various dishes, food, fermented food. So that is biotechnological, microbiological. You need microorganisms, yeast, bacteria to trigger those reactions. And in open air, you are able to maintain the purity of these cultures. So surely there is a lot of the scope of doing, pursuing your dreams, pursuing your experiments, regardless of the constraints. My appeal to you is never let constraints come in the way. Don't say that I don't have this equipment, therefore I can't do it. I must remind you that maybe hundred years ago, our famous scholars, whether J.C. Bose or C.V. Raman, they design instruments. And even today in Cambridge and Oxford and many other labs around the world, scholars design the instruments if they have to measure something which existing instruments cannot measure. So my advice to you is never let constraints, including the limits of the instrument that you have in your lab, constrain your imagination. We will talk to some engineers, talk to them, befriend them, join hands with them, and design the appropriate instruments. So please, nobody, nobody should feel constrained by the tools that we have. Some of the outstanding discoveries in science and technology have been made by people who believed in their own genius, in their own experimental ethic, in their own ability to fabricate instruments to measure what they wanted to measure. So I appeal to all of you that please try and dream as big as you can. Identify the unmet needs of our society. Many of you have realized that there are problems all around us. Many of you still have to realize. My suggestion is that when you write the assignments, do look up two or three things. One, sources of knowledge. Can we learn from the service provider? Can we learn from the maid in our house? 
can we learn from the sanitation worker can we learn from the attendant in our lab can we learn from the driver in our office or in our institution spend time with them talk to them if some some problems come say infectious disease or wound or cut or some other problem or palpitation or something, what do you do we were walking in shodhyatra chap ketan is not here but he would have told you that uh, we were walking in andamans and there was a village a lady we went there to get a request for a glass of water so when we were taking water we found a plate in which potuloka you know this morning grass morning flower potuloka leaves small leaves these are like small spiny leaves what line so we were surprised we asked ourselves why would she be doing it we had no clue none of the shodhyatri had any clue so we asked the lady she said you know what this helped my husband in blood pressure now you go to the net check and you might find some studies which have indicate that now how could this lady in a small village of andaman islands discover the property which we may take years to discover if we have to do there are 35000 species i never get tired of telling this example which were screened by national institute of health and national cancer institute under nih program in us and they only found five plants which could possibly help in controlling or managing cancer uh, texas bacata was one of them from the arun valley now the formal system after screening so many maybe by a protocol which was not appropriate for all the plants couldn't discover many things but our communities our our local people have innate sense of observing very carefully what is happening in nature and then they do their trial and error and through that process experimental process they discover some very valuable leads so my request to you is that try yourself don't believe that i am saying therefore you have to do it do it because when you explore you will find some new insights from the workers from the people who have to manage with very limited resources and it is natural that solutions that such people economically poor people develop have invariably to be very affordable otherwise how can they manage those solutions so if you want to look for affordable solutions then you must listen to the people who have limited economic resources but want to have similar quality of life as you and i have i was giving a foundation day lecture at pgi chandigarh many years ago pgi gets about 10000 patient in chandigarh every day so i asked them before the lecture i said can you tell me about an example where the patient have you now listened to it carefully where a patient solved the problem now we think that way as a doctor as a health worker we have to solve the problem of the patient isn't it but patient have common sense they have got industrial experience some of them some of them have educational experience i mean all of us are potentially a patient in one way or the other and sometime unfortunately and therefore we bring our knowledge to the hospital so the mention sir when we give saline uh, saline sometimes gets finished and the patient or ward of the patient rush to the nurses uh, place and uh, tell them uh, sister sister the bottle has finished or is about to finish please come and change it or do whatever has to be done so this patient's ward had a small factory outside of chandigarh he also faced the same problem he designed a small weighing balance kind of a device on which the saline bottle was resting as the vent weight went down below let's say 5% immediately it will trigger through a bluetooth or other device a signal which sister would get that bad number so and so the saline is going to finish go and change it isn't it nice how many hospitals have that signal in system and if we did not allow the patient ward to solve this problem would we know the solution and if i didn't ask the pgi director before the lectures well i want to mention about something that you have learned from the patient would i know this example i wouldn't know either so what i'm trying to say have faith in what i'm suggesting to you ask people persist patiently persuasively persist
हिम्मत नहीं हारनी है लगे रहना है कोशिश करनी है तो यू विल डिस्कवर अनयूजल इनसाइट्स फ्रॉम वर्कर्स फ्रॉम लैब अटेंडेंट्स फ्रॉम वार्ड अटेंडेंट्स फ्रॉम सैनिटेशन वर्कर्स एंड बड़ी फॉर दैट मैटर हु हैज अ कंपैशनेट माइंड हु हैज एन एम्पैथेटिक आई एंड दे कैन जनरेट सॉल्यूशंस द अदर थिंग दैट वी सेड एंड आई होप यू विल पे अटेंशन टू दैट टू वाज टू टॉक टू योर एल्डर्स the grandparents and uncles and see how some of them who have lived very well and whose health is very good did achieve wonderful fitness i'm i pray that all of you have elders in your home who are very fit doesn't matter whether age is 70 80 and 90 whatever they are able to discharge the responsibilities of life with great zeal and enthusiasm now how do we how do we bring such people how do we bring the energy of such people to our classrooms to our learning lab so we will ask them what did you do what was the routine you followed what was the discipline you followed what are the do's and don'ts of a healthy person what did you eat what did you what did you do when you felt uneasy or you had acidity or you had gastric problem or you had bone or you had some other problem and you might learn something which our families our our the elders have discovered there's nothing wrong in building upon traditional knowledge yesterday i was looking at some plants of kashmir there is a plant called as dandelion many of you might know and the roots of dandelion the tea made from roots of dandelion is now being marketed by one or two people only but is very useful for liver for blood pressure for many other things now if we can develop a good solution by working on some of the traditional knowledge why not you know in the current generation that means your generation more knowledge is being lost than ever in the history of human kind because your connection with the grandparent is weak I don't know how many of you live with your grandparent. How many of you live with your grandparent? Just raise hand. Anybody who lives with a grandparent, uh, Raman, Lakshman, okay. Anybody else? Shaurat, very good. Vasla, all right. So, did you talk to your grandparent about this course and about why you, that you have to uh, do an assignment and you have to learn from them, and you want to learn as much as you can so that you can. so to everybody how knowledge rich your grandparents are did you did anyone of you talk sharat raman and who was the third one did no. you talk to your grandparents yes no. masla ha huh? pratipan did you talk yes sir i have discussed so what happened tell me yes sir actually with their discussion only i submitted my proposal regarding the you know the traditional and rural practices which are going on in uh, yes, yes, the district yes. of kanyakumari i uh, but i had, but i had requested you to mention their names also did you do that yes sir yes sir yes sir I, i'll be submitting my entire work <laughs> don't this. forget please understand maybe yeah, they are your grandparents but they have also an identity they have an identity we have to respect that identity even if their own family members understand we yes, should sir. not make them anonymous Yes, sir. Masla, समझ में आ रही बात? Don't make them anonymous, Sarath. We want to know what they are individuals. They have spent their lifetime in bringing you up, and now we want to benefit their knowledge from their knowledge. The whole world, our country, our society, and the whole world, for that matter, shouldn't we be grateful? Shouldn't we acknowledge their contribution? Shouldn't we acknowledge their name and uh, identity? We should. So please. Don't make them anonymous. Never, never make anybody anonymous from whom you learn. जिससे भी सीखो, उनको पहचान दो. You know, we always say that Hindi network gives voice, visibility, and velocity. Voice, visibility, and velocity. On the first day, I was mentioning. Let me explain again. Voice means identity. We want to hear them. Visibility. We want to make them known. because we are grateful to them that is the minimum we can do and velocity that means we we through our science and technology input through our experimental ethic 
we will add value to them. We will increase the speed with which this knowledge will diffuse in our society. So I'm very keen that when we document the knowledge of our elders, we take pride. And even your parents may have time, there's nothing wrong. And you remember, I don't know whether I talked to this batch, but every batch I mentioned one example that when you were a kid or your niece or nephew had a problem, uh, infant as an infant, uh, your mother or grandmother must have applied a little bit of asphatidia in a dissolved in water in a spoon on the navel, isn't it? And I'm, my favorite example is that there are not too many drugs which are supplied through navel root, but our traditional knowledge includes that as a very important drug delivery route. Similarly, Nasya in Ayurveda, for overcoming the blood brain barrier, we have not scientists are not recognizing that if you deliver medicine through a uh, nasal route, there's a chance that it can reach brain easily or more easily. So some of the traditional knowledge practices, some of the traditional knowledge insights are equipping our scholars, our scientists, our uh, technologists, that there is a merit in what they had done and maybe we should have now develop protocols by which we can incorporate their practices. Some of you, particularly for girls, it is important to note, you know, when the mother delivers the child in the hospital, generally 99% of the time, the hospital bed is horizontal, which is a very uncomfortable position for a mother to give, to give birth. What is the better position? Anybody, any girl or any boy? What should be the optimal position for delivering a child? Does anybody know? Bolo, bolo, vasla, unmute karo. Squatting, yes. Sloping, squatting. So what do tribal people do in Bihar Hills? There is a rope hanging on the roof. They hold that rope, the mother, they will bend like this and easily deliver no cesarean. Nowadays, unfortunately, 90%, 85% cases are cesarean, very unfortunate. I don't want anybody's body to be violated or to be bruised. Mothers are sacred. And yet this happens because we are not following the advice of our elders. And therefore we are facing this problem. Entire science, the technology, I would say, of the European origin, designing flat beds for delivery was wrong, was not appropriate, was not scientifically valid. Scholars have realized now in the studies, now they acknowledge that. How long can we continue to do that? that we will follow something just because somebody has designed it without asking ourselves the question, is that the best way to do this problem, solve this problem? So my request is be more curious, be more diffident, be more fortitudinous, have courage to question the current practices, and then you will develop better protocols, you will develop better solutions, you will develop very important uh, solutions for agriculture, for livestock, for human health, for soil health. And all of this will help us and our farmers and our pastoralists, our workers and our elders for that matter, live their life better. So I am confident that each one of you will achieve great distinction in your life and before we will close, we'd like to hear from each one of you something that you learned, something that changed your perspective about biological sciences or biotechnology or relationship between science and society. Something that struck you as from any lesson, any session, pick up one or two examples of where you learned something insightful and you felt, my God, I didn't think about that. That's very interesting. Maybe I should further study that. Because our purpose was also to inspire you to pursue a whole variety of pathways that are available in future for you to as a grow, grow as a scholar or as an entrepreneur. And it is important, therefore, to be exposed. Never, never feel bad if you don't understand every detail of a technology at this age. But if you get a hang of it, what is the what problem are we trying to solve? And how are they trying to solve? 
that approach to solving problem in different domains is what we want to learn, even if we can't learn all details of that technology. So feel confident that the pathway that is ahead of you is rich, uh, multiple pathways are there. Some of you will become scholars, some of you will become entrepreneurs, some of you will become designers, some of you might even become policymakers and will shape the destiny of our country, of the youth of our country, of people of our country. And I'm sure at that moment, all the three dimensions of success, creativity, compassion, and collaboration, all the three dimensions will stay in your heart. Creativity, how to solve problems through greater imagination. Compassion, karuna, samvedana, how do I become empathetic? How do I put my, how do I uh, realize the problem which affects others as intensely as it affects them? How do I experience the pain of others? And collaboration, sahayog, co cooperation. I'm sure with all the three, you will succeed in your life. I would like to now hear, we would like to hear from you one insight each. Raman, please start. Raman and Lakshman, you start and then we'll go. As I see you on the screen, I'll continue to name you. Good sir. morning, sir. So first Fine. of all, thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity to participate in this program, sir. What is our first or most key learning is, sir, like the what are the challenge we are facing around us for day-to-day -day life? We have naturally solutions, sir. Like the every challenge has solution from a nature itself, sir. Actually, sir, like uh, along with that, we are working on our project proposal also, sir. Like as we are already working on a non-surgical hearing device, we have interacted with the lots of hearing impact children in their school, sir. So while we have interacted with the children, we came to know that there is a many hearing aids, a BT device available in the market. Even government has provided them a free hearing aids to treat their hearing loss. But over 90% of the children are not using their hearing aids because they are shy to wear it and they are feel they are looks disabled while they are wearing the hearing device, sir. So that part we understand like that, sir. The problem is what the solution or what the technology because the government providing a free hearing aid for the schools, but the children not wear. We ask the children why we are you are not wear. Uh, they said like they say to wear. The most of the children kept the hearing aid in a home or in a bag. They not wear, sir. Like they feel like they have some disabilities. Like we and Raman have a disabilities like visual disabilities, sir. Like we have visual disabilities. We have device for our spectacles. But like the thing is, uh, the stigma on uh, uh, specs has been removed because no one will thought us we have a visual disability to treat our disability. It doesn't require a medical device as a spectacle. The stigma the spectacle has been removed uh, 60 years back. Sir. But in hearing a hearing device, there is a big stigma around the hearing device, which has a very huge social perception. Sir. So we came to know that there is a no problem with the technology with the solution, the problem with the social perception and stigma on the solution. Sir. So we have decided to bring some solution. Like we came to know that there is no Indian tone colored hearing device available in the market, sir. Which made more invisible and- Like the same problem in the US also facing same problem, sir. For the children, they are shy to wear, they are shy to wear the hearing device. For them, they invented solution. Like for according to the patient condition, they designed the enclosed color, sir. So there is a no hearing aid company develop and manufacturing the Indian skin color, sir. So very in important, the, very important. So in that literature survey, only we came to know that there is no hearing aid manufacturers in, in India till today, sir. So very we are planning to develop a hearing device, sir. Own indigenous BT devices, sir. All the best to you. There is a there is a Kyati Award in Nitin. We'll connect you to him also if there is anything that you need to learn further he's trying to look at of course alpha beta and gamma rays that are generated in the brain and see how to optimize some of that so maybe somewhere there is an interaction required between what our brain does and what our ear does and how do we connect that to systems of our body so very good raman lakshman very good next please kadamri any insight Yes, sir. The thing I liked the best about the workshop was the giving recognition to anybody who gives you any piece of information. 
discrimination. That was uh, something that I believe is something is not very common in science and it is definitely a very nice concept that uh, I learned. And uh, apart from that, I've largely worked in dry lab only. So it was really nice to learn a lot of wet lab aspects in real detail. I always used to think that it's better to start a study with dry lab and move on to wet lab from that. But uh, based on all the lectures here, I've, I've kind of decided to start my project with wet lab and then go simultaneously with wet lab and dry lab. It was really nice interacting with people from different fields with a lot of efforts. Very good. And Kadamri and Raman, uh, I will mention this to all of you that please do spread the word around this. Whenever the new announcement come, most likely around August, 15th August, it might come. Encourage them to apply on the Barak site. Whenever uh, we will also keep you informed when the announcement comes, but do encourage. Yes, Abhinav. I was very new to the uh, the idea that plant uh, like in our medicine we generally give pills and drugs for treatment, but here a lot of focus was on herbal treatments like giving plants for treatment, etc. So like for example, whenever I get cough or cold. Uh, I'll usually take a, uh, a pill, generally levosetazine. But my parents would advise to take Tulsi and some other herb. <laughs> so probably after this, I will pay more heed to them. And <laughs> uh, good. Even licorice for cough, you know, mulatti, licorice is very effective. And of course, the steam. I mean, uh, nothing like a steam. Just plain steam, even if you don't put anything in that. So I think there are time-tested methods, some of which work well, some of which don't work well. I mean, I will not like to uh, brush, paint them all with a single brush. Something is scientifically valid, something may not be. We should select and try those which, and particularly when cost of failure is low. Supposing you took that tea with a tulsi and ginger and it gave you relief, by all means take it. If it is not, you can always take the pill later on. But no harm in trying a less, uh, harmful or you may call it uh, less chemical based solution because our body is used to taking natural product to some extent but when it comes to synthetic chemicals it's not easy for our body to respond though we do use all of us have taken medicines all of us take medicines and will have to take medicine in future because of the research that has been done but good Vasla. Unmute Carlo. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, uh, thank you for organizing a very uh, informative and knowledgeable session. I was waiting for when my turn will become. Uh, sir, I wanted to share my experience that uh, especially thank to you. Why? Because I'm stay, uh, I'm staying with my gay parents, but the condition is that I before talking to them because uh, my both uh, grandparents, uh, I, I would like to mention their name, uh, Mr. Uh, Ravin Nath Upadhyay and uh, Srimati Anukampa Devi, uh, both, ha both are very religious. So they, they, are, they, are, they have a, a lot of faith in God and in still at the same time, uh, she, as I told you that uh, she gave me experience about the grassroots things that how she managed when there were there were uh, no technological or facilities when she was young or when she was facing the same thing. Uh, actually, my grandmother, as you told about the pregnancy one, uh, my grandmother got pregnant when she was in class 10 uh, with my father as a child. And in class 12, she got the second child. The condition is that at the time she needs to deliver uh, her baby by it, by herself. I can't ever imagine what kind of pain she bears during that time because there is no hospital, uh, hospital facility. So this is one of the things that make me eager to to know that uh, what does it matter for me? I didn't know what I would do that. But at, at the end, I thought, no, I need to know this. Because what she suffers, what exactly the problem is. Second thing that you told me about, ki if you are staying with the grandparents, you need to learn. I thought my grandparents just know only the uh, curing things, you know, uh, just the innovation that what they can do. Because crisis leads to the formation of new innovation techniques, okay? So she know the things that, uh, for example, if we take, uh, she told me about that Sindur one. Sindur has mercury. I don't know about the scientific reason what behind this, but she also knows the scientific reason. 
that's very shocking for me yes sir that's very shocking for me and even uh, uh, as i take my propo uh, proposal on the bills of reducing the pain of during party duration that uh, calcium hydroxide and the bamboo leaves what they actually do in the body of that particular cattle she know that and i thought that where i am if she will be then she will definitely watch the ground so you gave me a biggest reform a biggest point to talk to her to discuss her and uh, it she is uh, just uh, what should i say it's karta dharta of our family she is financially independent but it's very shocking for me that she also knows the scientific reason of all the things so that gives me big you are blessed big yes sir definitely uh, uh, my my respect to shri ankumpa ankumpa devi ji unko mera pranam kahiyega aur bahut achhi baat hai this is great that you have developed you rediscovered your grandparent in some sense you rediscovered their knowledge system isn't it that's very precious. definitely and i tell you one thing that once you talk to them then there will be other elderly people around your home you will talk to them and i'm saying be critical i'm not saying you believe anything and everything they say no be critical but at the same time be receptive because there is no point in losing track of hundreds of years of experimentation that our society has had some of the thing they may have worked out well otherwise they would not be so healthy and so happy sometimes isn't it so yes. health and happiness both are linked in some way and i think we should also find out those values which are inclusive which have uh, kindness in them which have generosity in them so learn about different things thank you so, so much vasna Yes. So one more thing. So one more thing. I would like to conclude that uh, uh, since last six months, she was facing some heart problem. Uh, actually, she has a swelling in her heart. Uh, I thought that was a blockage. You know, then blockage lead to heart failure. I don't know when I was uh, before three months ago. I talked to her that. if you are not comfortable then i will let you uh, bring to the lucknow and i will check uh, i will make you check uh, check for uh, for your disease whatever you problem you have she just went to the normal hospital to get her full body uh, scan she get the problem she de denied everyone in our family including my uncle my father she denied everyone that she will not die in the hospital she don't want her to <laughs> die in the hospital she used that statement it's very harsh for me that i can't lose her at any cost <laughs> so she said that i will cure myself you all people do your work i will cure myself i'll be fine i don't know how she doctors completely denied that doctor gave the statement 6 months ago that you will definitely if you are not uh, uh, what should i say if you are not take care of yourself then you will leave only 4 years just on medicine and that statement is just an what what can i say that it's just an expiry date of my grand grandmother that's very big statement for me but she just completely what should i say proven wrong that statement and now she is completely fine she just cure herself she she own her words so that's a big thing i Wonderful. learned from her Because, you know there are, there is a confidence that people have and they, uh, abina will tell you as a medical student that uh, what this sometimes they call it placebo but actually it is faith healing that that many times good doctors just by, by the way they talk and the way they touch you heals you even before they have given a medicine they heal you so the confidence and the way she has treated her the respect she gives to her body and her self is uh, itself a healing process we should learn that also that faith optimism faith and confidence it is said that those people there are two words i would like to mention to all of you one is autonomy second is agency autonomy is freedom to make decisions agency is ability to use that freedom so most of us have autonomy many of us lack agency she doesn't lack agency she wants to use her freedom of being herself according to her will and i can tell you people who use their agency live longer and live healthier and live happier because they are in command of themselves they are not dependent they don't complain they don't have grudges वो शिकायत नहीं करते किसने ये नहीं किया उसने वो नहीं किया उसमें ये कमी उसमें वो दे लिव बाई थ्रू ए पॉजिटिव स्पिरिट एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड सॉल्यूशंस तो वो भावना भी उनसे सीखनी है 
एक उनका जो आत्मविश्वास है उनका जो कॉन्फिडेंस है वो भी सीखने की बात यस सेतु प्रभा सेलवन कॉलेज सेतु प्रभा कैन यू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड स्पीक अप इफ पॉसिबल सेतु प्रभा कैन यू स्पीक अप इज इट पॉसिबल और नो अंजलि uh yes sir go ahead sir uh, i feel this workshop like it, it is helping to form a bridge between people in cities and those in villages so that is like very important in times like today when the quality of life is decreasing it's fast it's rough and we are forgetting about our roots in this chaos so this really helped me to know that how we can use the most basic knowledge around us to solve the biggest of the problems we have also one more thing i want to mention for me science comes from sentiment so i lost my grandfather a year back and he was succumbed to depression so oh. like he has fought depression for like 10 years so we have seen that there were no such medical uh, preparations or anything like used to have some therapy sessions but it didn't really help because those medicines they have some really ill uh, you know side effects on your body so it was only then when i got closer to brain to studying brain i did this antidepressant uh, research it was based on that sentiment only so this conference made me realize like we had that ayurved session also where he told that these ayurvedic medicines these are personalized so the thing is that these synthetic medicines they are not personalized like if we look at the typical ayurved healers they used to make the medicines then and there when they got to know about the problem so that is a major takeaway i'm taking from this uh, workshop that what's more better and insightful than knowing about your own body understanding it from inside like you don't really need medicines what you need is to know what is your body type and then mold your nutrition as per it your lifestyle as per it and i think that's the most important thing in today's uh, life uh, lifestyle that we are adopting so also it's very nice to hear you always it's like a motivational ted talk for me every time i hear you thank you anjali thank you and i'm happy that a problem that you have experienced in your family has motivated you to pursue it as a scholar a scholarly pursuit i mean this is good many times we suffer from any problem but then very few of us pursue yes, that sir. in a manner that we you have done it so please continue so like i see he was a di- my grandfather was a dynamic personality but depression may- what it made him it was like very bad to see So yes. always, yeah. No, no. I understand, and you must remember that, like any other disease, uh, one must not have any stigma to this disease. I mean, just like you take tablet for blood pressure or other thing, one should take tablets because serotonin level or some other compounds uh, which are not available or not being released in a manner that body needs them to keep balance. then our system goes out of temper so uh, it's curable it is at, at least it is treatable and we should uh, never never have stigma against those who suffer yes, from sir. problem that is also and sir it was always like uh, discussing science with a friend wh- while talking to you <laughs> so it has been a very nice experience for me wonderful keep it up and we look forward to hear keep in touch with you and all others so that <laughs> yes. i mean whenever you achieve something in your life you know where to tell at least one place where we will always rejoice in yes your sir i would be more than happy i always needed a mentor it feels like i found many here <laughs> yes, swati sir, good luck swati 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 unmute less please उंड Uh, that can also give me an idea on research or changing something i definitely don't need to think out of the box 
there are so many things around me which have problems there are i local problems maybe small problems in my house or college anywhere so like now i think it in that way so uh, this series of workshop it changed this perception in, in me for which i am really grateful good very good this is very important insight that not always we should look outside we should look inside the box with a little more uh, empathy a little more deeper quest and a little more uh, samvedana or a little more compassion so that we can discover those unmet needs around us which were long there but there but we did not notice them good sir patipan uh yes sir sir yeah as shaurad said it, it is a uh, one of the main thing like my perception completely changed uh for my interest like uh, my uh, as i am perceiving life science my current study i am doing uh, my msc uh, project uh, related projects on cancer bioinformatics but my passion always lies on uh, environmental biotechnology and yeah, i have uh, have been to some you know certain works in environmental biotechnology sector as well and uh, talking about uh, the flow of internship like flow of uh, the workshops like it's not like they just give us a, a single concept they literally uh, introduce us a wide variety of concepts like what are the fields are available where where and what are like you know the societal issues are available in veterinary science in agriculture in like we came to know like uh, the various sectors though the session is one hour like even though in that one hour we get to know some key points okay these these sectors are there and these these sectors having this this problem and at the about the perception whenever we are thinking about a problem we we'll, we used to think about okay we let's go to literature let's roam around where where to find the loopholes but after the workshop and after your guidance i can see okay in my society in my own house what is the problem in my own society what is the problem if they are having a poultry farm what issues they are facing if i am having a rice farm like like a rice field what issues they are having like there are many unsolved issues are there so like you know that perception change and obviously i haven't uh, you know interacted to my grandparents or my parents regarding these kind of knowledge because Okay. they have the traditional knowledge this big and uh, you know this particular workshop it it uh, you know it helped me it helped them as well to, you know to transfer what are the whatever the traditional knowledge they are following for cattle or for field or farming whatever it it helped them to transfer them to me as well and yeah it uh, provided me opportunity like normally i won't interact with people regarding these kind of things you know to know what they know and what they did this thing and this platform really helped me to interact with many people who are having farms who are having poultry business who are having cattles and everything so in that aspects i am very thankful to you know the organizers and especially you thanks a lot sir so you're not audible so i'm saying that it, the entire magic was orchestrated by amar my role was very limited but he day and night put together the team the lay speakers yes swan prabha swan prabha do you want to speak sir? yeah please yeah go ahead sir sir actually i want to thank you uh, because i never attended such a conference or workshop before uh, i always used to study in college uh, like that only we did our project water staff say to us uh, we only do that but uh, first time i attended such a, a thoughtful and useful program uh, in my life even um, i have a, my semester exams during these workshop days Uh, my staff prefer that uh, you can go attend the workshop and uh, you can start study afternoon like uh, they also said this is uh, more important that than your coaching uh, for semester exams so and uh, i learned so many things uh, from this workshop and uh, i never went to agriculture field before uh, because i didn't get any chance to visit a uh, farmers like that uh, but uh, last week i visit to farmers and ask the what i first time visit the agriculture fields uh, like uh, i didn't uh, have any chance to visit there before but uh, i got a uh, curious to visit uh, only after listening to the work 
uh, this workshop sir really i want to thank everyone here so i got a wonderful opportunity in my life sir thank you sir thank you good luck kota shri harshi shri harshini would you like to speak sir shri harshini kota shri harshini who is the next then let us look at um, amar nobody here yes 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 anjali we not to chat thank you anybody else uh, wants to say anybody else wants to speak who has not spoken so far and would like to share their feedback their insights please go ahead now vishik Anybody? It's your chance to speak, and our turn to listen patiently. And you can be critical if you think there is an area where we should improve, or an area where we have not done very well. Please say so. There's always a scope of improving anything that we do, and we must continue to aspire to improve things that we do. So, anyone who would like to give any suggestion now. all right so if nobody wants to speak further about feedback anybody wants to give any suggestion from anyone who has spoken or otherwise any suggestion to make this program more useful hello anybody hello yes sir yes yeah good morning sir yes uh, sir firstly thank you very much for the opportunity so one suggestion i have is uh, if we can arrange some group projects Okay. Um, okay. So, so that we can interact with different people with different majors. So, I solely work on zoology. Or uh, I barely know about botany things, and I was very scared about botany before. But you can still this. do that, Ayushi. I will. I will not say that time is gone. You yeah. can still do that if you want to make a group with somebody. Even if they are doing their own project, they can still join you and help you to in your project also. so i will encourage you to pursue a group activity if you wish to nothing is lost as yet all right yes uh, so it's a good idea it's a good suggestion and i think uh, it will definitely maybe we should do one exercise which is group based rather than alone now at this point we can note down that one of the assignment should be group assigned in future we can try okay yeah anybody else has any suggestion After that, ah, uh, बोलिए बोलिए any uh, request Ramesh अगर आप कुछ कहना चाहेंगे Ramesh नहीं सर और कोई कुछ कहना चाहे हमारी तरफ से अमर you want to say anything to the participants before uh, we come to the close I would say that this has been a great experience I'm I've listened to all of you with great respect and affection or मैं uh, I would wish that you continue to remain engaged with us with the Hanibi Network with Swasti. and if there's any way we can encourage you to take your ideas forward we'll be more than happy if you want to set up a startup we have an incubator also if you want to uh, visit some places some villages you want to meet some innovators all of that is possible so don't think that because the program has ended we cannot make demands on us you can make demands on us seek our help for whatever meaningful thing that you want to do and we will try to help we will try to help we will also be willing to incubate some of you in your enterprise if you are interested do write to us and uh, we have siie uh, sanctuary of innovation and inclusive and enterprises inclusive innovation and enterprises so we will be happy to incubate and mentor and help you to connect to Uh, other mentors and other institutions, and if you want to apply for funds, we will help you to get your proposal reviewed by experts so that you can submit a good proposal. So feel confident. I will encourage you to write papers, publish papers. Don't think that as an undergraduate you cannot. You can make short communications. You can write about the research that you did or you are going to do, and uh, all the best to you. And uh, I hope that you will make us proud by your achievements, by your social sensitivity, 
and by your respect for elders and by your connection to the society. Amar? Uh, so, uh, I would like to put a note. Uh, so at the end of the workshop, uh, we will we'll be selecting 10 students. In each of one, you will be receiving a 1 lakh grant to pursue your project. And those who are not uh, selected, don't feel uh, less. You are always welcome to our lab. You can also conduct your uh, research. We will support you. We will do everything uh, possible from our side to support research. Uh, God bless. All the best to you. God bless and be happy and be meaningful, be purposeful, be joyful, remain curious. Remain connected, remain compassionate, remain collaborative. Wonderful. God bless you. And you are now a volunteer of Honeybee Network. Always feel free to make demand and contribute as a volunteer to the network. God bless. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you all for your time. Anything else you need to talk? You can uh, call my number you have, or you can WhatsApp me. Okay. Uh, always keep the group active. If you like, Professor said, uh, like uh, some suggestion was there for group activities. If you want to do group activities, you can interact with others, other students, and you can reach out. Okay. So form a group, discuss, you can do better. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all.